Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the second swing golf back here in the tour van, joined by Mr. Kevin Kraft here. And uh, today we've got some drivers to test. Uh, we've got the best of 2024. We're doing low spin drivers. This is part one because we are going to acknowledge probably later this year there's going to be some maybe more drivers or driver coming. Uh, so we're going to add those into the test at that point. But as of right now, this is what we have. So best of 2024, low spin drivers, part one. We have three miles here, Kevin. Let's go through them. Let's go through them. So we got sure. Cobra, Dark Speed LS, yep. Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke, Triple Diamond, and TaylorMade QI10 LS. Mm. So you've been fitting with these already a little bit. Tell me what you know about each of them. They're all really good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's, the, that's the gist that's, of it. That's the, that's the biggest thing is they're all really good. Mm -hmm. And honestly, across the board, I wouldn't say one is particularly outselling another at this point. Okay. Um, it's still early days, right? Yeah, right, we're, right. we're not deep we're into the season. We're filming this in February still. Yeah, so, so um, it's been fairly evenly divided. I would say there's maybe a little bit of surprise at the way the, the Cobra has been, been doing. It's been okay. feeling really good to a lot of people. Okay. Numbers have been really good. Um, Callaway's pushed on further from their you know yeah. excellent product, you know, the Paradigm last year. And TaylorMade's entered a, a kind of a different realm from what they've been in the last couple of generations. I think this is a much more polished yeah, uh, I think so. product than what I they had the, with Stone. I think the sort of carbon wood era is definitely a little more refined with the QI. It 10, is, yeah, for yeah. sure. And uh, and from a look standpoint, they've they've absolutely nailed it. It looks mm -hmm. it looks yep. really good. Yep, I think they've done a, a fantastic job with that. And. Yeah. So these are the kind of three, you know, favorites in the low spin category that have been released this year. I'm yeah. really excited to see what happens here. And now we also have to mention the golf chef that you're going to be using to test the drivers today. So talk to us about that. I just know you're very excited it, about it. It just makes me happy looking at it. You know, it's just, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just fun. And then it also makes me happy swinging it. So um, we have the Autoflex SF505 XX. So it's a, Autoflex is an interesting interesting piece of equipment yeah uh it's not a conventional chef my mom actually asked me the other day what's what what makes this what makes this thing work and i said i don't know there's a it actually says on here uh hidden korea technology that's what makes that's, it work that's okay yeah <laughs> um it's designed to play stiffer the harder you swing at it right so typically on an x flex shaft or a double x flex shaft i can't do this I'm not very strong, so <laughs> yeah, I can't do this. This feels when you just put a head on it. It's whippy. It is whippy, yeah. except it's not when yeah. you swing it, right? So this one's rated for up to about 120 mile an hour club head speed, which I can't create, not without lack of trying, but you know. I think one day you could. I'm getting older. It is not gonna. It's not gonna get a whole lot faster than it is right now. So um, there's a little more in the tank, but. Mm. But this thing is, uh, from what I want a, a driver to feel like, uh, shaft flex wise yeah. and how it loads and unloads and, and all the good feels. <laughs> I love this thing. And it's fun to look at too. So it's right up my kind okay. of strange Yeah, it definitely has that colorful, uh, you know, I guess. Uh, it, it looks it, like it, a it roll. It embodies your personality a little bit. It I looks think. like if you took, if you took all the packaging off of a roll of lifesavers. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah that, like is, that. that is exactly so, what it looks like. So. Was it Skittles says, taste the rainbow? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> all right. So we're going to be tasting the rainbow while we're yeah. hitting some perfect uh, tee shots today. We're going to start with Dark Speed LS. Um, or what are we going to start with? I'll leave that up to you. We've got I all three of them right I, here. We did, we, let's do the same order we did the, uh, the, okay. the higher MI. We'll start with Callaway. We'll go to Taylor May. We'll go to Cobra. Perfect. Okay. All right. First driver, Paradigm, AI, Smoke, Triple Diamond. First impressions at the appearance of that one as you uh, get ready to hit some bombs with it. I like it. Yeah. It's good. Fingerprints. Fingerprints, again. I got issues. They're my issues. I just can't stand, I can't, I, I, I. That's why we like the matte finish? This is why we like the matte finish, yes. All right. Looks good, I like the shape. I'm a little more into the shape on this one than the the uh, the max. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So uh, and then, looks looks deeper. Yep. Right. I like that deeper look. Right. A little bit right. more compact. I don't need a really compact head. I don't need to go like 
TSR four or anything. Yeah, I was thinking of the same one. Yeah. 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 Well it's really the only one that's kind of small these days. The was it the twenty five G four twenty five LST was like four forty five or something? It's a little small. Yeah. yeah it doesn't most it, of them are I mean everything is pretty much four sixty now. Yep. All right. I'm expecting big things from this. It wasn't quite perfect, but it was pretty decent. It's I think it's in the fairway. Or very close to it. I can it. check that for you to verify. Oh, nope. come on, man. That is how I miss fairways, right there. <laughs> Usually when I'm missing fairways, it's like one pace. <laughs> you know? So I like places that have two cuts of rough. Yeah. You give me that first cut of rough, I will live in that a lot. Just like fringes on greens. I like to attack pins. Yeah. I end up on a lot of fringes. I keep fringe stats. Oh, some extra speed. Ooh, and some extra right. Oh, I thought right. that was going center to left. Oof. Face is a little open, it okay. looks like. It's all right. I'm okay, with, I'm okay with right misses. I don't like left misses. That one might go left. No, it won't. No. Be dead straight. Holy spin. Oh, yikes. <laughs> That's low. Wow. This is hey, this is a really good start. The bar is high. The bar is high. You can do it, track man. There it is. Okay. It was worth waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> we got one more. Building the suspense is all. Ah, I didn't hit that one very good. I can tell it's the Came off drop. high off the club face, though. That Some actually numbers, is a pretty numbers, darn good miss. Numbers all aren't considered. terrible. I've never seen a face to path of minus 0, 0.0. Oh, minus 0, 0.0. That's interesting. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why the minus is there. Make you feel bad about it or something. Yeah, exactly. But okay. We've got six T shots. We've got. There's our dispersion. I think we were going to do um, best four of six here. So I will... Uh, we can do five because there's... I mean, what five. I like about this, okay? One of the things I really like about this is we've got some east to west, yep. right? But there's not a lot of north-south. Correct. Which means we're getting a pretty decent amount of consistency yep. overall. I'm going to take this one out here. Face was a little open. Okay. Um, yeah. Unless we want to take out the oh, that's fine. italicized that's, spin number that's, up there. That's fine. I mean, okay. look, it... We need we need to see and people need to see what happens when you don't hit this thing solid. Yeah. That's one of the great things I think about having me doing this stuff because I'm gonna use this entire club face. <laughs> right? I'm gonna hit it all over the place. Maybe not so much in the low heel, but yeah, you know, other so than that. So for the for the sake of data number, sometimes we'll remove outliers, so to speak. Right, right. But here's what happened on all the shots. Okay. Yeah. And um for the sake of maybe a, a data sample, I think the outline, just because the face angle was, was yeah, ex yeah, yeah. much For more sure. open, I'm going to take that out. Yeah. But so here's our numbers on average then. Um, much lower spin than we had seen in the last video. We were yes. testing, you know, yes. higher MOI drivers. And it's, that's club that doing low, what it's supposed to yeah, do. Low spin driver doing what the low spin driver is supposed to do. Interesting that the ball did get up there in height though. Yeah, and if you're going to go lower spin, you got to go for trajectory because otherwise yeah. the thing's going to fall out of the right, sky. Right, right. So 300 yards on average, pretty good. Pretty good. I, that's um, that's farther than you were hitting the last drivers. So Yeah, the old fat guy can still move it a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. 147 smash, very good. Again, that distance consistency, I'll just pull up all the swings here just so we can marvel at it. But... Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is a carry. Look at this, 272, 270, 271, 272, 72, 271. That's, that's just disgusting. That is, <laughs> that's you. not supposed to happen. Uh, okay. Okay. Next driver, Colt. This, no, this, this really did very much what I thought it would do. Yeah, like, I mean, that's, Paradigm, that's fantastic. That's, Paradigm Triple Diamond was awesome last year, and this one's awesome. -er. Yeah, that's yeah. fantastic. Um, it's a very high bar for TaylorMade QI10 LS to meet now. How does that one look? QI10 LS now. You're wiping off more fingerprints? Yeah. Now it looks all right. All right. <laughs> that's what I figured. 
I mean, I like the shape of the club and I love the infinity crown. And I think this thing looks really, really good. It's kind of sparkly on the end of a rainbow. It's kind of nice. Sure. Yeah. Just, it's going to become, everybody's going to be annoyed at me for, for being so obsessed about the. Yeah, probably. You know, but. Well, they can. We all have our things. You get, if you're if you're annoyed with Kevin's uh, obsession over the looks, just send it, put an angry comment under the. Well, it's video. not even the looks; it's just the fingerprints. Just put an angry comment under the video. Yeah, we'll, we'll let yeah. him know about it. Tear me down. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Well, I didn't. I didn't. Low. I didn't freak out on this one, thinking that the head was going to fly off. <laughs> I also didn't get any trajectory, but that's okay. I thought it, yeah, I thought that launch was pretty low. That but. one, yeah, that was 60. That was a good West Texas ball right there. That one's higher. And it hit better. And it yep. went longer. That wow. Felt, that felt really good, by the way. Same golf shot, pretty much. I mean,. <laughs> Those two are right next to each other up there. That was a little higher off the face. That's yeah, still out there. Yeah, not too bad. That was Toey. 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 It actually straightened itself out a little bit. It did. Unfortunately, we got a italicized spin, yeah. so Trackman was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, that was also a little toey. Is that going to turn? Yep. That was also bit. italicized. Come on, drag man, figure it out. Let me hit one more since we got two italicized yeah. up there. I just don't like the italicized ones. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. That sounded like you hit it pretty hard. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. Okay. Okay. So we've got a couple italicized spin numbers to indeed take note of here. Let's see, we've got these two. Yep, just kick those out. We don't know what those we'll take them out, are. and then I think also maybe this one. Yeah, I think that's probably right. And so we've got our sample here. We took out. So this is what that looks like now okay. after taking out. So we had two that were sort of. Maybe questionable reads with the italicized spin, and then we also had your first swing, which was a very low just launching low. one. Yeah, yeah. just really um, came that off was low. different than the rest of them. Yeah, so, yeah. This is what we have now: sort of five good shots with two drivers. Um, I I like so this one's got more spin. That's the interesting thing. It, yeah, the pair yeah. the triple diamond was consistently spinning under two thousand, right? Yep, consistently. This one is not under two thousand one time. Hmm. Um, so big difference there in spin. How about uh, impact locations? Ooh, good, good. Let's, good let's call. just see. Let's, let's look at that. So, wow, that was uh. So the QI10 LS is just above center, maybe a little. I mean, that's a pretty darn good spot to be hitting. You want to stay above center. And the paradigm is a little bit higher. Oh, so interesting. That could be a reason for the spin. I uh, yeah. Difference definitely, definitely. Um, I'm I'm a little more centered today than normal. I usually tend to live a little more toe side. Mm, just a, just a yeah. touch, just a touch. But yeah. So. Any other numbers, Kevin, that jump out at you here looking at this, this data? Yeah, club head speed was pretty similar. Ball speed was a little bit better to club head speed, so smash factor was a little point higher. Um, mm -hmm. Launches were pretty similar. I mean, we're talking, I lose two yards based on spin. Right. Um, carry yardage was a little better because of height. Uh, club path is basically the same, so yeah. Right, you're I mean, swinging the, pretty much the same with yeah. both clubs. Yeah. Um, I also I want to talk or mention one more thing, and that is your draw. Like it's you get a low spin head, mm -hmm. and the draw doesn't draw as much as you can see by the dispersion. Yeah, you're, you're just which I know you don't really mind that. No, at all, and that's that but, really works in my favor yeah. because I don't want to but, see it turn too much. So. I just just yeah. a general comment for the viewers: lower yeah. spin heads like these typically are going to have almost a fade bias compared to Correct. most drivers. Correct. So. Kevin's draw that you might see with other drivers is not showing up as much in the in this video, yeah. and that's why. So, yeah. last one here. Okay. Cobra, Dark Speed LS. All right. So the Dark Speed LS. Um, I, I. So we just filmed the sort of standard high MOI driver series um, test, and you liked the look of that 
the dark speed the best. Is that still the case here? Yeah. I think this is even a little bit better. It's a little, little more compact. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, um, pretty high bar set by both Taylorman and Callaway here. Can the dark speed LS match or beat it? Don't know. I like the looks. I didn't have to clean anything either. No, you didn't. Yep. Woo, four right. There's a good ball. Toey. See what happens on the Come on side. around. Come on around. Oh. There you go. Gear effect is a wonderful thing. Gear effect is a wonderful thing. Oh. So we are going to have, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. I went away from what I was going to do initially. So this driver is not set up the way I have my driver set up. So it's got four extra grams of weight in it, which can negatively affect the performance wise with this, with this particular shaft. Um, the way I have mine set up, I have an eight gram in the toe, three here and three here. Okay. With this one being 12, I tried those first few shots with the 12 up in the toe. I think that's actually negatively influencing my ability to turn the ball over. We okay. saw a much more drastic right hand side. So sure. I've now changed it with the best I can do with this is put the 12 the back in the, in yeah. the back. So it's going to play a little more forgiving. A little it bit. is going to play a little bit more forgiving. The weighting still isn't right. I have no idea what the weighting was with the other ones, right? It's, yeah. it, it just was what it was. Whether that's, you know, stuck back here or not, I don't, probably. Yeah. I mean, legitimately, it's probably because we've worked fairly hard to get it geared exactly the way we yeah. want it. So um, so this will be a little bit different from from the way I'm going to play it this okay. year, but it's what we got right now, so. Wow. Yeah, a little different, right? It did turn a little bit there. Yeah, it was uh, way less difficulty getting it to turn over. Yeah. It, the weight in the toe just really felt like that face wanted okay. to stay open. And I might have just left that one open. You did, yep. but it's uh, still a, it's still okay. Yeah. Spins, is, spins riding a little high. Yeah, there is some more spin with this weight back. Oh, that is a good ball. That's better. Let's try and get a couple more of those. Yeah, 110 on the club speed. Oh, hello. Toe. It might work, though. It didn't not work. <laughs> it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me do one more. Just one more swing. Because yep. we had, we're probably going to do six off of this rather yep, than the, those extras. Popped it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty darn good, actually. Uh, it's inefficient a little bit, but. Yeah. yeah. Golf's hard. What are you going to do? All right. Go so we've got our testing. Let's pick out the shots here because we did yeah. make that adjustment. Yep. So the first so three. So the first three can go because they were just too yep. too weight biased. And I think probably even. Like probably throw out that last this one. one. Yep. Yep. And you, can leave, you can leave the rest of them in there. Probably leave the rest of them in there, yeah. So yeah. Dark Speed LS. Um, we made a slight adjustment to the weighting after the tr first three swings. Yeah. Um, so now we've got the 12 gram weight in the way back. So it's playing slightly maybe more forgiving potentially than these other ones. And probably yeah. a little bit more spinning. Yeah. Higher spinning. Yeah, so that's probably expect. why. Um, that spin is a little bit higher, but yep. thoughts on the testing and the numbers on the dark speed LS. So, I mean, legitimately it feels a lot different from how I've got mine set up. Yeah. Four grams of weight doesn't sound like a lot, but when yeah. it's at the, at the end of what you're swinging, it definitely feels significantly different. Yeah. Um, didn't feel 
didn't feel quite as easy as what I have set up for myself. Mm. Um, I have no trouble whatsoever with an eight up in the toe turning this ball over. Yeah. In my testing at all. Um, and we definitely saw a little bit of that. Had a couple of good ones, right? But, yeah, totally. Uh, three good ones. I mean, a little more. It's not like, it's right not like bias, it was bad. It wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, and I'm not. I'm certainly not complaining about it. Um, it just isn't. I know this is not geared properly. So yeah, it, it's it a is, mental thing yeah, that you're, you're working it, on. It, it is what it is. So um, from a feel standpoint, I, I still think it's a really good feeling head. I think it's a really yeah. good. I think it's a really good looking head. Uh, the numbers were were fine. Uh, it did finish third in this contest. Um, no, I, 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 in you know. total distance, but it depends yeah. on what the player might be looking for out of a low spin. Sure. I, I do want to say how, oh. stri- on average, how straight all three drivers were. Yeah. that's. I mean, again, it, that's an average, but yeah. generally your draw wasn't showing up as much with these low spin yeah. heads. Yeah. Um, I would say that, you know, overall with the, the paradigm, why is this one italicized? I don't know. Is there one that I missed there? Yeah. Oh, the 1970. Okay. It's still, a, I mean, it's put, st- put number three back in. Where did three go? It's right there. Okay. That's fine. We can, we can do it. We can do it that way. I just don't like the, I don't like the Italian. So, yeah, that's fair. Um, 1813 is kind of the range you're looking low. for. Like that's, that's, or is that, it's lower than you're looking for? Oh yeah. That's, yeah. That's running into the red zone. Maybe not, at least I'm not worried about it for me, but I wouldn't typically fit. Fit somebody into that into unless that. they had like a lot of yeah, speed or it's, maybe it's high launch. You, you, you bring in like spin is forgiveness yeah. with, with a driver. So you look at the higher spin guys or higher speed guys on tour, they're tending to chase a little higher spin so that their misses don't get yeah. exaggerated. Right. So 1800 is, is low. And unless I've got somebody that, I mean, there, there are people that just don't produce much spin. Yeah. Okay. And then we just work with what we got. But for somebody that doesn't, you know, necessarily square it up really great, if they hit it, if they really do a great job of squaring the club yeah. face up, they can probably handle 1800 RPM sure. of spin. But for most people, we don't want to go that low. It's, yeah. it's a little dangerous. Got so yeah. 22 and 2300, no issues with, with either of those. Uh, at mm-hmm. all. So yeah, I think I mean clearly there's some similarities between these yeah. three. Um, but that was it, it's just different. The 1800 is much different, much lower. So that's yeah. something to like you said something to note for the viewers. Um, yeah. All right, so let's yeah. let's wrap her up. Performance, cool. innovation, and then look, sound, feel. We will wrap up here um, in a second. Perfect. And get your take on those. All right, Kevin, testing complete on the low spin drivers. We've got three models that we tested here. Um, the Cobra Dark Speed LS, the TaylorMade QI10 LS, and the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Triple Diamond. That's a lot of words for one driver head. Um, <laughs> let's start with performance. That okay. was what we were talking about. We got all the data up on the screen yep. as well to refer to. Um, in this test, you know, we kind of tinker with some settings a little bit with the Dark Speed LS. Um, what did you think in performance here of these um, heads? From an overall performance standpoint, I, I worry a little bit about the super low spin of the, triple of, of the triple diamond. Now, there are some ways that we can mitigate that a little bit. Yeah, totally. Again, we could put the weight in the back and, and see, like we did with the Cobra, uh, that was, I had to put it somewhere. Yeah. And putting it in the toe, I was just... Yeah. Uh, just too much, too much to the right. I don't want to see it go left, but I don't want to see it go right either. So, um, so this one was good. I think overall the the QI10 LS was fantastic. Yeah, it felt really, really good mm-hmm. coming off the face. Um, yeah, I was, you know, I think again very pleased with with what we had with yeah. this driver. Um, yeah, I know, I know the really the one. You, you've said it. The one sort of drawback that you have with the QI10s is exactly that with the with the crown. And, and that's and, just because I'm insane. Yeah, right? it's yeah. just I'm picky. Like some people aren't going to ever notice that there's fingerprints all over the driver. Yeah. If there's one right here on the back, absolute back piece right there, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, I can't have that. <laughs> right. It's just uh, issues. 
okay. issues, yeah. but yeah. don't let that, it, that can't detract from the fact that it's a very, very good driver, yeah. producing very, very good numbers. Yeah, and um, it was definitely, it was the furthest carry number comfortably yeah. today. Yep. Um, the spin was right in a perfect zone, very consistent yeah. spin as well, so. And, and I was, from the last generation or last two generations, I think the, the fit, finish, and feel of this Mm. Definitely better. Okay. Definitely better. Okay. Yeah. So now we got to talk about innovation here a little bit. I know that's kind of a funky category maybe to use, but talk to me about the driver here maybe is the most unique or maybe took the biggest step further from the last series. Yeah. I, I still think from from last gen to this gen, the the AI smokes are still our leader in innovation. Yeah. Um, they're just pushing, the, pushing further ahead in terms of what, what they can make computers do to help yeah. make a, a, a golf club perform its very best for, you know, whatever that individual mm -hmm. golfer is. So, um, yeah, that, yeah that I'm, smart face. I mean, yeah, it's, I'm still giving it to, I'm still going to give it to Callaway on, on that yeah. one. I just think it's, mm -hmm. I think for innovation, they're, they're still leading the way. Not to say that these other two Correct. aren't really good. Um, I love what, what TaylorMade has done with, with their drivers. Uh, especially with the the new the new the face, new face and yep. the way it's the way it's mounted. It's also a more durable um, yes, this year, which exactly. is I think is going to be a big deal for and, them. And subsequently, also got better ball speed. So yep. that was that was a total winner all around. And with Cobra adding an extra weight port, mm -hmm. really has made a big difference. It's allowed me to actually play this driver. I've had, I've tried the LS versions of of the past drivers, yep. having been on Cobra staff for so long, and I've never been able to use them. They've always been. Yeah. too far right even with the weight in the heel i haven't been able to turn them over so there's probably a little bit to do with with this guy yeah right right right, right but right. also being able to to tune these exactly as the as i want and need them to be uh to play with this um yeah that's it's opened up some, sure. some new some new avenues mm -hmm. for me sure um all right lastly then the look feel and sound um category here i think i know your answer but I have to ask it anyway. What's your pick out of the three? Look, definitely the Cobra. Yep. Um, I just love this dark, murdered out look to it. Mm -hmm. It's the matte finish, everything's black. It just, it's cool. Yep. Um, sound and feel. <sighs> I mean, in today's test, this was the best feeling. Was it? Was it? Yep. The QI 10 LS? This was definitely the best feeling. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'm a little bit kind of agnostic in terms of, of the sound. I thought they all sounded okay. good. Okay, yeah. So I, I didn't, uh, there wasn't anything that, there wasn't, there was no G425 in there. Right, right? yeah, that's that, true. That just made Very distinct and like brash. Yeah, yeah. so everything sounds good. Uh, I think the overall feel, Taylor made wins, okay. wins that one. Okay, yeah. so yeah, kind of a, a multiple winner in that, in that, in yeah. that space, I suppose. Yeah, but, absolutely. Uh, but I think, well, regardless, there's three, you know, really good models here. We got some really good testing um, up today. And if you're a high spin player or high speed player, these are three really good options. I think that yeah. Kevin's endorsing here for you to try out. Um, maybe some spin tinkering to do with the triple diamond for sure. But yeah, absolutely. Um, that can be done. That can be done yeah, with the hosel. It can be done with the weights. Can be done with a, a bunch of different ways. Yeah. So golfers, make sure you schedule that fitting. Um, Get with someone like Kevin, any one of our fitters, and we'll get you dialed in for a driver that fits your game. Longer, straighter two shots is going to be the result. So, Kevin, thanks for swinging and, and sure. giving all the info today. Cool.